right, thank you for the questions. Uh, this next game we're going to play is called Emotional Option. How this game is played, we have two strapping young men on stage, and they will begin a scene. At any point during the scene, I have the power to yell freeze. Thank you. At which point I will take a suggestion for an emotion, such as scared, lust, etc., etc., and then they will continue the said scene playing that emotion. So, to get these two started, can I get the name of a location that could fit on this stage? Bus stop. Oh. <laughs> we take you to this bus stop. <laughs> 715 my ass, huh? <laughs> oh, it's called 718, right? <laughs> yeah, that's every, every, uh, every time. Every time. Every time. I mean, like, why don't we just get a car, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can pick these guys up. Yeah. Fucking Chicago Transit. I won't transit. get that guy up for you. <laughs> smells. Yeah, he's eating, his, he's eating his own earwax. Huh? Freeze! Jealousy. Jealousy. Well, I kind of wish... Should I get you my earwax? Fuck, oh, man, I tried once. He doesn't even go to work. He's just sitting here all day. <laughs> Got a nice blanket wrapped around him. <laughs> We're taking the bus. Yeah. You know, guys, guys, yeah, some and segways and scooters running around. We're such a good guy. Take this. Free. This guy's take this one off. I don't know, man. We get a car. Once we get it, we'll get a car. We get Crazy. Get a car. Pride. 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 <laughs> you know I don't need a car. I can walk to it. <laughs> 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 This guy over here. Right? Drinking a coffee with the iPod in. That's, that's dangerous, buddy. <laughs> you car, you don't even ask Please. you know it. What? Yeah. Lost. These <laughs> cats are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you were talking about getting that Volvo. Just... <laughs> Two seater? <laughs> oh, my bus pass. <laughs> I'm gonna be so late for work. I'm gonna be so late for work. Can I have the bus pass? Can you just... You didn't have your own? I've been here the whole time. Mr. Johansson's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> One more time, I'm fired. I have three kids. I'm an intern, I don't even get paid. <laughs> Play is called Conducted Story, and the point of this game is to tell you all a story that no one has ever heard, ever. So I need from you the title of a story that you've always wanted to hear but doesn't exist. It was a stormy night in Boston. It was a stormy night in Boston. Okay, and now I need a genre such as a uh, film noir, romantic comedy. Romantic comedy. So first, before we get started, we're going to do a little vocal warm up here. <laughs> was a dark and stormy night in Boston when David Ortiz started walk over, walking over to Manny Ramirez. Manny really enjoyed Ortiz. <laughs> really had such a great chemistry together. He said, David, you so funny. <laughs> and then he touched his head like this. He said, what is that, Pantene Pro V? <laughs> Shut up, he said. <laughs> And that it started to storm. It rained and rained and rained. And the rain just got them all nice and wet. <laughs> so they ran into the clubhouse where all the other players were gone already. <laughs> they said, and they gave them each other a weird look. <laughs> it was, it was love. <laughs> And then David Ortiz said, Manny, are you giving me that weird look because you want to kiss me? <laughs> or is it because you want to hit me because I'm really hoping you want to kiss me? <laughs> I know those lips when they touch mine. But Manny said, first, I'm going to need you to do something even more intimate. <laughs> and now for the last chapter. <laughs> and Manny said to David with a sparkle in his eyes, Kiss me as hard as you can. <laughs> Slam your hard body against this button. He's like, I'll rhyme third. Right after, right after I rhyme second. <laughs> and just do one more thing for me. 
stick this syringe right in my butt. Right, Moral. Love. Your. Neighbor. <laughs> because. You have to. <laughs> Uh, start off with getting a location that's going to fit on the stage for Julian Wall. Doctor's office. Doctor's office. And can I get the actual occupation of your grandfather? Airline pilot. And a relationship for these two kids. Teammates. Teammates. All right. Now let's go ahead. Uh, back over here, we're going to recap. Doctor's office. Doctor. <laughs> Airline, Airline pilot. pilot. Teammates. <laughs> now there is one trick to this game, and that is that the last line of dialogue in one scene, the last line of dialogue in one scene becomes the first line of dialogue in the next scene. We take you to. We're on a losing streak. We're never gonna get back on top. Well, pick up your sword and we'll start fencing practice already. <laughs> it's not about fencing. It's about the dedication you have to it. <laughs> With that attitude, no wonder we're 0-12, Jim. <laughs> no wonder we're 0-12, Jim. This plane's going down soon. No, no, yes! No, I don't know! Okay, we gotta tell the passengers. Left! I'm with ya! Hold it, hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Where's this doctor? I've been waiting for a half hour. I, Bill, I just, I'm not ready for this. I know, Stacy. If you're pregnant, just tell us. I mean, you should let us at home. <laughs> just got waiting for it. I'm just, I feel like you and I, we should. Totally different pages. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you and I are totally different pages. <laughs> you know what? I think it's go time. <laughs> Pull that out of your back pocket. Put it through once it extends. Like this, right? <laughs> you know what? My mask on the ground. I left my mask on. Put it on! Put it on! I'm going back. I'm going to talk to these passengers. Okay. They're never okay. going to know we're going down. <laughs> they won't know. I'm not. We're, we're not going to We won't let them know. Okay. If they don't see my face, they can never identify me. You know, Jim, you, you gotta stop with the Vicodin. Before we take off. Grace. <laughs> you gotta stop with the Vicodin. I don't even know if you're pregnant or not, but it can't be good for the baby. <laughs> Yeah, you don't sound pregnant. You don't sound pregnant. Who needs a doctor? I know if you're pregnant or not, right? Wait, so I was totally setting you up. So you don't want to keep this? No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I know. I haven't thought about it. This is kind of new thing happening right now. My it's band great. is touring in like a month. I got no time. For me. Listen, my band is touring in a month. Can't, can't be fencing. Get your head in the game, man. No, don't practice my cool maneuver to start fights that I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, I don't practice. You're, you're better than me. I want to be like you. You're better than me. I want to be like you, but I can't because I've got to be the one man in the, the plane. I want to be the one taking the cocktails, going yeah. back, hey. talking to everybody. Are you going to be like me? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like me. That is my... Fucking dream. <laughs> 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 